The Federal University of Technology, MIDA, is a specialized university established on 1st of February 1983 in furtherance to Nigeria's desire to be self-reliant in science, engineering, and technology. FUT MIDA, as it is popularly known, is well poised in this manner as the best and the most preferred university of technology in Nigeria. The university is located in MENA, the Niger state capital, and operates two campuses, which include the Boso campus and the Gidankwanu main campus, which is seated on 10,650 hectares of land along MENA Bida Road. Ranked among the top five universities in Nigeria because of its innovative technology, depth of staff expertise and the capacity to help students reach their full potentials, FUT MENA is also among the top nine in the 2022 Webometric Ranking of Nigerian Universities and among the top 2,353 universities in the world by Weibo metrics. The Federal University of Technology, MENA, is one of the only two universities with A ranking in the institutional accreditation of Nigeria universities and the only university in Nigeria with five-star Servicom ranking for service delivery. Vibrant researchers and research groups made it possible for the university to clinch the first position in 2012 and third position in 2015 in the National University Commission NUC organized Nigeria University Research Development Fair. This citadel of learning has first become a household name in Nigeria as it attracts students and employees from all parts of the country. Indeed, it is the most cosmopolitan university in Nigeria. It has staff and students from all the states of Nigeria and the Federal Capital Territory. The institution currently has a total student population of 26,051. From this number, 21,000 982 are undergraduates and 4,069 postgraduate students, out of which 61 are foreign students and 25% of the students are female. The university has over time proven her capacity to produce industry-ready graduates who are preferred choices for employers. FUT MENA has 54,695 alumni and an employment index of graduates of 60.61%. Our graduates are the fourth most preferred graduates for employment in Nigeria. The university has a total staff strength of 2,402 out of which 902 are academic, representing 37.6% and 1,500 non-academic, representing 62.4%. The female workers are less than one-third of the workforce in the institution, which puts the male staff population at 1,812, representing 75.43% and 590 female, representing 24.56%. Although, in comparison, with most conventional institution, the staff and student strength of FUT MENA is small, but that is because of its specialized nature. In terms of information and communication technology, FUT MENA is the only university in Nigeria with a dedicated school of ICT and two schools of engineering. It is the first university to establish a school of ICT and a department of cybersecurity in Nigeria. The university has 10 schools and 46 departments, 9 centers, 13 units, and 2 directorates. Out of the 10 schools, 4 are dedicated to ICT education and service delivery, and they are School of Electronic and Engineering Technology, School of Information and Communication Technology, School of Infrastructure Process Engineering and Technology, and School of Physical Sciences. 
the Center for Open Distance Learning and Information Technology Service complements the four ICT Bay schools as it offers online Bachelor of Technology degree in Computer Science. It is worthy to note that while all the 46 academic departments in the university are ICT compliant, 10 are specifically for the generation of ICT equipment like softwares, hardwares, applications, and other auxiliary tool and skills. These departments include telecommunication engineering, megatronic engineering, electrical and electronic engineering, computer science, computer engineering, cybersecurity, mechanical engineering, physics, mathematics, statistics, surveying and geoinformatics, library and information, information and media technology department. With regards to expertise, 46.5% of the academic staff of the university teach ICT-based courses in physical and life sciences. Additionally, 96 senior non-teaching staff of the university that work as technologists in ICT-based departments and information technology service division also produce software as well as provide capacity building to students and staff. The university possesses skillful staff and students in software development and other ICT-related fields. For instance, the learning management system used in our Center for Open Distance and e-learning, resort processing and transcript processing software were fully developed by the staff and students of FUT MINA in-house. Apart from having the fundamental academic departments and skilled staff for ICT delivery, the university has the necessary ICT tools and systems and has embraced data culture in decision-making and governance. FUT MINA has heavily invested in the state-of-the-art digital learning facilities and network infrastructure such as servers and campus-wide local area network. Built on fiber optic cable with wireless router access points available everywhere on campus. Robust information and communication technology infrastructure hinged on the optical fiber cable backbone is one of the strengths of the university. Every student and faculty members have access pin to the university web service. Under the DLI 7.6 Africa Center of Excellence Impact Project, the university has been provided with 1 gigabyte per second bandwidth that needs to be extended to students' concentrated areas, 10 interactive flat panel display which are strategically installed in large lecture halls, access to MATLAB and anti-plagiarism software and high-performance computing system. Centers in the university, like the Center for Open Distance Learning, Africa Center of Excellence for Mycotoxin and Food Safety, and the West Africa Science Service Center on Climate Change and Adopted Land Use, absolutely teach their courses online as their students are spread across over 15 African countries. Due to the availability of a robust internet facility in the university, Waskal was able to conduct online PhD defense during the COVID-19 lockdown. Apart from these centers, some lectures, particularly in the engineering schools, are gradually migrating to remote teaching. The university library has a seating capacity of 1,000 350 persons with several other spaces for students learning. The library houses 50,020 books and 18,472 journals. The library is not left out in the internet revolution of the school. The library provides access to e-resources particularly ProQuest, Science Direct and Research for Life. FUT MENA, in its quest to measure up with other universities globally, issue academic transcripts within 24 hours. E-copies of final examination results are accessible to students within six weeks of completion of such examinations. 
the university's e-test center meets international standard and has been sustainably managed for over 10 years. Indeed, introduction to ICT course is compulsory for all students of FUT MENA, which has made the university entirely digitally literate. The University Enhancement Office caters for and engages FUT MENA alumni graduates through the University Tracer Alumnus. Alumni Interactive Platform is actively domiciled on the university website as an alumni resource link. The Basri Department uses international financing reporting system and remitter platforms as financial system and payment platforms. The deployment of ICT in the general operation of the university has earned the Federal University of Technology MENA high scores in the Passet Benchmarking Data System Maturity Survey conducted by World Bank under the ACE Impact for Development Impact Project. In the survey, FUT MENA had 73% of staff with data skills, 75% in possession of tools and systems, and 73% institutional embrace of data culture for decision-making and governance. The university boasts of several teaching spaces, which include large theatres and classrooms. The 1000 capacity lecture theatre is very useful in lecturing large classes, especially those at 100 level. There are also study spaces located within schools and other units in the university, which allow students to interact with their mentors and for private studies. In the effort of the university to meet global standards, it possesses good number of well-equipped laboratories and recreational centers like the school gym center, basketball court, and gardens for students and staff relaxation. Apart from the university's several laureates in academics, research and service delivery, the Federal University of Technology, MENA, has considerable experience in managing and implementing international and national large projects. The current project managed by the university have a cumulative budget of $14,505,950 and they include the Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, which is a Step B funded center of excellence. West African Science Service Center on Climate Change and Adapted Land Use, funded by German Federal Ministry of Education and Research, Center for Disaster Risk Management and Development Studies, funded by National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, Nigeria, Center for Human Settlement and Urban Development, funded by United Nations Habitat, Nairobi, Kenya, the Global Institute for Bioexploration, funded by Rogers, the State University of New Jersey, and the University of Illinois, and the African Center of Excellence for Mycotoxin and Food Safety. Additionally, various researchers in the university have won and are currently executing Ted Fund National Research Fund grant to the total sum of 868 million. 709,175 Naira. The university has won the highest number of national research fund grants in the last two years. Based on these experiences, FUT MENA is very capable of successfully managing the intended $4 million French Development Agency facilitated ICT intervention. All of these achievements were attained by the leadership vision provided by several leaders who have come and gone in the university. Currently, Professor Farouk Adamokuta, who was inaugurated as the 8th Substantive Vice-Chancellor of the University on the 3rd of December 2022, has continued the culture of exceptional leadership in the university. The professor is providing sound direction for the university to thread upon. This is not only to maintain the momentum, but to also improve the status quo of the university and make it better. 
Looking at all of these, it is very clear that the Federal University of Technology, MINA, is really poised to ensure the continual making of employable graduates that will not only be suitable for the pool of industries nationally and internationally, but such that will create jobs and be self-employed to create more job opportunities for others. It is important to note at this juncture once more for emphasis that the virtual learning environment in the university is widely used as the institution strives towards becoming a smart university.